Havoc on what's supposed to be a relaxing getaway for a St. Pete couple, but it turned into more of a nightmare when five teens began assaulting people aboard a Carnival cruise ship. Tonight, many are questioning Carnival's security procedures. ABC Action News reporter Cameron Polum explains. We had a good time initially. It was great. It was a dream for the St. Pete couple taking their first Carnival cruise, touring Mayan temples and snorkeling with giant stingrays. I mean, we enjoyed this trip. We enjoyed the time that we were having. But their experience took a turn for the worst when they say a teenager began stealing drawings off passengers' doors. It got ugly when a passenger confronted the boy. And as they started coming out the door, you know, one of the ladies that was asking about the picture was in the way, and one of the kids went up to her and got a hold of her. The young man um, who was 15 um, gave the young lady an uppercut, um, uppercutting it to the jaw and a right, and a right cross to the, uh, to the front of the mouth, and then she started bleeding. Errol Morgan, speaking to us by phone, was also a passenger. He saw the attacks and says the ship's security did nothing. When at this point, he came up to me, slapped my glasses off my face, pushed my girlfriend. He says the young boys were intimidating everyone on the floor, and there's letters to prove it. They let them come by. They kept continuing to go by the rooms, looking us over, because we were all standing outside of our rooms in shock. In the end, one boy was arrested by Hillsborough deputies, but Justin, Errol, Stephanie, and more than a dozen others say they want to make sure no one else has to live through this kind of terror. Our way to resolve this was offering us 20% off of another cruise. We don't want another cruise. It's not safe. What happens if there's another serious issue? Who's going to help us? In St. Pete, I'm Cameron Polum, ABC Action News. In meantime, officials with Carnival say they're continuing to investigate the situation and also offered the couple a $109 refund.